Hey, best friends. I always sound like I swallowed a frog in the morning when I wake up. I don't know why. I kind of sound like a man a little bit when I wake up in the morning. But anyway, I am in Knowledge Tree. It's a one of those like teacher stores in the city that I live in. And I'm getting some stuff from my new classroom and I'm so excited. Let me show you guys what I'm getting. Okay, so gotta have the cute calendar. I always like laminate this, like my little numbers. I always laminate those so they don't tear when I have to change my bulletin board out. I always put like cute little sign like this, like on my door. Like I put these signs like all over my classroom door. Here's your sign. And then I've got this welcome sign. It's, <laughs> I literally love it so much. Like every year, this is like the sign that I get. And I normally like will put it like high up on the wall and then I like put these like in random spots like around it. You gotta have the cute posters. Just be kind. Be kind. Rewind. Okay, I was a little weird for that one, but judge your mama. But legit, these little posters are always so cool. I just put I put these all up around my classroom, so kind vibes only. Y'all know, if if you know me, you've been following me for a while, you know I always love these posters that look like this. Leave a little sparkle. Throw kind of like confetti. You simply sparkle. I'm not sure when this turned into singing, but. I'm singing. I'm in a store and I'm singing. Cue the confetti. Don't let anyone ever dull your sparkle. Not even you. My name is Lady Glitter Sparkles, seriously. Also, oh, I just messed up my car. Also, I'm like in the back of this store. <laughs> and they're probably like, bro, is she recording a video back there in our eels? Okay, also, I'm obsessed with these little like magnetic erasers. And it's so cute, it's like a little apple. Okay, also, these are my absolute favorite. Oh my gosh, my voice sounds like I swallowed a frog. Anyway, these are my favorite. They're magnetic borders. Mm. Then I just have the refined wood looking bulletin board paper. But this store is so cute. They have all these like different designs and stuff for calendars. So cute. And then these are the magnetic borders. Aren't they so cute? The name of the store is Knowledge Tree, by the way. Y'all already know, we gotta have the OG anchor chart paper. What's up with it? Some lady tried to judge me one time for my anchor charts and I was like, you know what, judge your mama. She was like, why would you make those before the lesson? Um, Girl, they are a reference point, calm down. Like, geez, calm down, Thelma. Also, can we talk about how I'm jealous of people who know how to make their anchor charts look like this? Like, girl, how you draw all this stuff, okay? Are you an artist? and a teacher, like, come on. My anger charts just got words on them, girl. I don't know how to do all that. All right, we got Expo markers, multicolored. We got black Expo markers. We got Sharpies and some patch tape and regular tape and other tape because y'all know it takes uh earth wind and fire for anything to stick on those concrete walls Do you remember when it first okay also i forgot about this one i love this one too tom sweet classroom acts of kindness i'm a little laminator cray cray so i'm gonna laminate all of these all the things i just got done getting all my stuff from knowledge tree i'll probably go to target and get like some christmas lights and stuff because the person i am i like a little ambiance in my classroom my new principal is going to try to let me get in to decorate my classroom a little bit before we get out for a break but a lot of people are like i didn't know you were going back to the classroom okay me, me neither <laughs> No, yeah, me neither. Bueller. 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 But I, like, when I went back and subbed and I was, like, at a good school, I was like, okay, we still love teaching. Like, I, I hadn't been in the classroom since March. And in October, late October, like the week before Halloween, I went back and started subbing. And I was like, man, I, I really do still love teaching and still love 
being in the education world, being at a good school showed me like, I just need to find the right environment. I just need to find the right school for me. So I interviewed at a school and you know, when you interview, like I've learned that when you interview at a school, you are interviewing them just as much as they're interviewing you. So why should we hire you? What? Because you guys are hiring. And so, you know, my new principal, she's been at her school for 12 years. My assistant principal has been there for eight years. It says a lot about somebody if they've been out of school for that long, because a lot of times in my career, I've seen like a lot of turnover, you know, with principals. So that in itself spoke to me a lot that they've both been there for a significant amount of time. I'm excited. It's a smaller school. The school I was at was like 1500 kids. The school I taught at the last three and a half years but the new school it's like 500 kids so it's a lot smaller and class sizes are a lot smaller i'm excited you know hindsight is always 2020 and i've looked back a lot on my time from when i was in the classroom and you know when i quit in march and you know getting sick at work and stuff like that and so i've looked back at that to see okay what can we learn from that experience what can i learn from the stress i was going through at the time what could i have done different hindsight is just always 2020 and so in looking back on that time period there are some things that i wish you know i could change but i can't and so now like it's nice to have a fresh start and a clean slate in a different district and a new school and it was nice to take that time off you know because i did social media full time and i love social media i'm grateful for the opportunities that social media has afforded me but in my heart i'm a teacher in my I'm, I'm an educator at heart i'm excited to be going back to the classroom and every school has you know their ups and downs you know no school is perfect not even the school that i was subbing at it was a great school great school environment but I learned that no matter what school you're at, kids are going to be kids and you're always going to have discipline problems and things like that. But I think I'm in a better headspace than I was when I was in the classroom in March, when I quit in March. So I'm excited to be going back. I'll probably make a video showing me decorating my classroom, but I'm excited. So excited! Also, I'm going to be teaching eighth grade. Can I get some tips? Because I've only taught sixth and seventh. Sixth grade, I love them. Seventh grade, they was crazy. I am crazy. And so I don't know what to expect in eighth grade. If you're an eighth grade teacher, can you please, like, what what do I need to expect? Like, please tell me all the things, okay? Help your girl out. Help me. Send help. Okay, best friend? Love you. Bye.